Hello everyone, welcome to another amazing video of Planswift. I'm your host Sadi Chohan and today I'll show you how to create a powerful template for steel reinforcement calculation. As you have seen already on my quantity serving program, how powerful the Planswift is when we customize and use the powerful template. Let me show you the quick example. On the templates tab, I have created many templates and even few of the tutorial I have shown on the Planswift template playlist on YouTube. So previously I have shown you for the concrete templates, for the foam walk, for the earth walk and today I'll focus on steel. And one video of steel is already available on my channel and that was for pad putting. On demand I'm going to show you today neck column and in future I'll try to show you for the staircase, for the beam, for the slab, these all templates I'll show you. But before we start learning let me show you a quick example how actually it works. But I will request you one thing, if you are really interested learning the powerful template in advanced plan shift, then you need to watch this video till end. If you follow all the instructions as I am showing in this video, at the end of the video you will have the same template. You just need to follow the instructions. Now without any delay, let's get started and have an example. I have already templates so I am able to see these templates on my right side. Let's say I have to calculate the steel in the column. So this template gonna help me a lot. It could be the neck column or the column on the ground first floor. It doesn't matter. The concept is same. Once you activate it, software will ask you column, neck column. You can enter the details. You can choose the dia. It's 16. Okay, I kept 16. Then the bar weight. How many rods are there? According to here, information, given information, we can enter 10, 12, even manually you can enter. Height of the column. Of course you can see in a section and more detail you can find out there how many extra you want to keep it so these information you can get it from here and enter if there are bands you can enter the information as well when you press ok you will see just click on the column one two three once you're done right click and stop just go to estimating tab you can see here steel column this is the total quantity in kg that's the dia bar weight and we have all the information even number of uh, column as well so simply follow the information and you get all the detail even if you want me to explain in tons that's the same concept so let's learn how to create such template to save our time okay you can hide this go to templates tab here i have created this template you're not gonna see on your plan set so create a new tab give a name test whatever you like so create a new template how you want to start by the length counting up to you so it start with the count give a name uh, steel column neck column press ok a template is created now the main thing is customization what exactly we want inside to be happen so right click property advanced there are already few properties inside we have to add more either we can insert or add so simply you need to follow it as i'm going to create then you will understand what is the purpose of creating new properties so let's add a new property give a name bar weight because we're gonna have different bar weight so let's add it it should be an estimating don't forget we need to have all the properties in one group okay it's created okay then the next one is after the bar weight uh, rod quantity because we have a different rod maybe it's 10 8 we need to add then the neck column height press ok it's also added one more we need extra and if there are bands we have to add that as well so horizontal bands if we have we can consider those as well horizontal band sides we need press ok then vertical bands press ok vertical band sides i have added sum of bands press ok i have added all now let's quickly organize this that's how i prefer to have it so quantities on the top then the bar weight okay, then rod quantity so i have arranged as i want now one more i forget to add that is dia because there are different dia of steel so we have to consider that as well I have added now let me just quickly arrange it on the top so that's how i prefer to have it once we're done we have to consider the units as well it will be easy for us to proceed further so it's millimeter then the bar weight so i have arranged all the unit one important this is the one quantity this should be in kg 
if you want in tons you simply need to divide it you can have in ton as well fine so we have arranged all the name and the the unit now i prefer to press ok save so at least if something interrupted at least we have whatever we have done it so right click property in advance it's still there now one more thing if few things have standard size so we can define here so we can go to here dia and we can mention the standard sizes like 8 10 12 16 we have mentioned it you will see next time software will give us the option it will be easy for us to choose instead of typing just a thing this is one then the, the bar weight if you know the bar weight according to the dia you can simply enter it let's say 8 dia is 0 0.395 then the 10 is 0 0.617 and the 12 is 0 0.58.58 according you can just mention the details here. press ok next time it will be here easy for us to choose fine rod quantity we know it's not specific we have to see the drawings and we have to mention accordingly so let's keep it empty but if you know there are standard sizes let's say sometimes 6 8 10 12 14 you know simply you can mention here so it will be still easy for you to choose here okay the next is neck column height so it depends on the drawing we can enter later extra how much do we need extra height for the uh, steel again we can enter later depending on the drawing horizontal bend we can see it in the drawing vertical sides horizontal bend this all we can do it now these things we want software to ask us for that purpose we have to check all of them dia we want software to ask bar weight we want rod quantity these all the things we want software to show us so we can check all of them once we check click here form you see here all of these things software is showing us here but we have to arrange a little bit so click here advance suggestion we can turn off these things okay we don't need to see the size and this all so farm layout here we have to arrange now this is my preference how I like to see it if you have different preference uh, doesn't matter okay so die is on the top then I like to see a bar weight beside and it should be in the same row fine it's done and let me just move this shape down okay then dia and bar weight both I like to see the units so once I check this units are beside after that let me just move this shape down after this i want software to ask me the rod quantity it's already there and beside neck column height i can bring it up and the extra fine it's all together now i can check this it's all in the same row okay and for the extra i like to see the units i check this one so you can see here that's the interface for the future after this we have the band we can bring the vertical band vertical band sides horizontal band horizontal bend side fine now vertical bend and vertical bend side I prefer to see in the same row you can see it's added then horizontal bend and its side I prefer to see in the same row it's added you can see here now for the vertical bend I want to see the unit so I check this one units are beside horizontal bends units are beside press ok on a form you can see that's how it's gonna look like but there are so many things if it's confusing you I have another suggestion go to form layout and here there is option right now there is no tab it's all on one tab you can add here one option like bends you have separate and in general you have these things so press ok form layout you can see this all the information okay if something you don't want let's say fill type and color and shape you can hide it it's here fill type go there and uncheck like I don't want to see this so I usually just uncheck can see here it's uncheck okay form layout next time it will not appear fine once you're done press ok I'm pressing ok so at least it will save all the information we have provided properties advanced you can see this all information is here till now so basic information is here now we just need to uh, add the formula okay okay so as we know bends we're gonna provide according to the given details in a drawing but at least some of the bend it's important to have the formula here so whatever the vertical bend comes it should multiply with the vertical bend sides okay and let me just round up and whatever the total comes it should add with the horizontal bend multiply horizontal bend side and let's round both of them 
So here we can get the total length of bands. It's very simple calculation. Now the important, most important here is in the quantity. Here we have to play. So I can remove the takeoff temporary. Here, firstly, neck column height, whatever the height comes, it will appear here. Plus the extra, if we consider the extra, it should include here. Plus sum of bands. If there are bands, it will be add here. Let me round this all. So whatever the total length comes for the each rod, it should multiply with the rod quantity. So if there are six, eight, 10, it should multiply. Okay. Let me round this also. So it will be easy for us step by step. And whatever this quantity comes, we don't need in meters. We need in kg or in tons. So according to that, whatever the total quantity comes, it should multiply with the bar weight. Fine. We have this all. Now this total, let me round this one more time. Whatever the total comes, it should multiply with the guess. It should multiply with the takeoff because there are five columns. There are 10 columns. That's the important thing. So whatever the total comes, it should multiply with the takeoff. It's here down somewhere. We can simply drag and drop. If you want to see the total formula, click here, you can see the neck column height plus extra plus sum of bands. This will give us the total length of the rod. It will multiply with the number of rod and then it will multiply with the bar weight to give us in kg and total quantity, maybe we have 10, 20 columns, it will multiply with the takeoff. Once we have this all the information, press OK. And let's say if you wish to have it in a tons, so very simple, click here total you can round and divide on thousand next time it will be in a ton very simple fine this all information and the formula is created in the form you can see here let's just execute this formula at once okay press ok go to home tab on the right side you will see here these are the one templates which i have created you have to click here test you can press this button but before that let's keep this information open so press this button software will ask you now this time what's the name okay dia bar weight you can choose how many rods you have neck column or columns height whatever the height is you can enter here so you can enter here this information once we've done this if you think there are bands and you have to consider that okay click here band and you can enter the information accordingly once you enter this all the information press ok you will see we have to click Go to estimating tab, you can see the total quantity, 1070. 1070 is different because this time our height and the band information is different. That's why the quantity increase. But main is concept. We have learned how to create a template. Now I understand maybe while explaining I miss something. Uh, I forget to mention it. But at the end, you know the concept now. How to create a template. If you need to modify based on the project, based on your experience. You can customize accordingly. The main purpose is concept how to create a template for steel reinforcement calculation. And it's very basic. I'm taking you step by step. If you have visited my YouTube channel, you can see here I have created many templates. I have shown the basic example and step by step I'm explaining for the advanced one. So I hope you like it and I will suggest you to practice while you're watching this video. And if you really get success and you really like this video don't forget to drop a comment i will see who ever get the success and if you face any difficulty feel free to contact me on any social media platform i'm available on linkedin insta facebook i'm available feel free to drop a text i will try my best to support you guys so that's it for today i hope you really enjoy this video stay connected keep learning guys take care see you in the next video